So, another miserable, windy, rainy day. Don't stop us doing things in the greenhouse though, does it? It's not exactly freezing at the moment, but just a little word of warning. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow night, Thursday, the temperature's going to drop down to minus one again. So, look after your tender plants like I always say. Tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, French beans, get them tucked inside. Because if it drops down to minus one, it'll kill those plants because you'll probably have them in a cold frame outside or in a need to greenhouse like this one so you need to move them just to let you know that so I've had my potatoes chitting for a while now and you can see they started to grow chits on top basically all you need to do with your potatoes is put them somewhere with the chit part pointing up just pop them in trays like this and you'll see at the bottom there's a mark, a scar that's where it got detached from the plant when it was harvested and the chip will grow at the opposite end so just arrange them in a tray like this if you want them to chip your potatoes and leave them somewhere cool but with some light if you don't leave them somewhere light they'll grow white and long and spindly and they're no good they want to be short stubby dark green chits but what we're doing today is a little different because we're not going to be planting these seeds outside in ground we're going to be planting them in containers for the container garden and we're going to do a little experiment using just a 10 litre pot and I know it's not very big but it can work. It depends on how much space you've actually got to work with. If you haven't got a lot of space, this may be your only option. But it's a 10 litre pot. You could also go with something a little bigger. Or bigger still. Even to this size is fine. The only difference being is, if you start with something like this, or something like this you only want to be putting one seed potato in that pot whereas the bigger ones you could probably put three maybe even four in at the biggest size so we're going to use this as an experiment and I'm going to do a couple of these to put on that container area and see what we get because as far as I'm concerned if I put one little seed potato in here and get 10 or 12 potatoes out of it at an average size well, I think that's more than satisfying. Especially if you have got that same situation going on. That's got a concrete floor on it. So we can only use pots or containers. If that's you, try this. So first thing we need to do is pop some compost in. But we're not going to fill this. We're only going to fill it to about there. Just a couple of inches on bottom. And then we're going to add a little bit of fertiliser. And this is fish blood and bone. And we'll just get that a mix up as well. Before we put the seed potato in. You want to get one that's got one or two chits. If it's got more than that, knock them off. Because what that will do, that will send up another shoot and another shoot that's going to be a lot of foliage on the top of that plant so it's going to be putting lots of energy into growing the green rather than producing the potatoes another thing worth knowing about potatoes is you've got three different kinds you've got first early, second early and main crops now your first earlies and your second earlies when they grow, they grow them outward so that's why when I did my original planting on the Charlottes, which is second earlies, I planted two at a low level in a pot that way, and then two at a higher level that way. So I was growing two layers of potatoes in the same pot. That's first and second earlies for you. Now, main crops work a little bit different. You want to plant this at the bottom, or round about there, at the bottom of the pot with that chip facing upwards 
So just push it into that soil like that. You can see it's a couple of inches from the bottom and the chit's facing upwards. And just put one in there, don't put any more if it's a pot this size, just put one potato in. Now what main crops do is, as this grows up, you'll start to bury it and it's what they call earthing up. So as the green comes out of the top, after it's a couple of inches tall, bury the green and just leave a little bit sticking out the top. What that will do is, that will make the plant send out more tubers, which will grow some more potatoes. And then when it grows, bury it again. Exactly the same thing, it will then grow more tubers, more potatoes. Because main crop potatoes, the potatoes grow upwards, not outwards. So if you didn't know that, that's something worth knowing. That's why you've heard of people saying they earth up the potatoes. We're going to do exactly the same thing in this pot. We've buried it there. We're going to then cover it up with some more compost. And then we're going to wait until the green comes out. And then once it's a couple of inches tall, we're going to bury it again. And do that and do that until we get right to the top of this pot. And what that will do is that means you're going to get potatoes there, potatoes there, potatoes there, potatoes there. So let's just get this buried. I'm not going to fill this pot. As I say, I'm just going to bury that potato by a couple of inches and then leave it until I see it growing out and then we'll keep doing that. So we've buried that potato now by a couple of inches. We've got some fertiliser in there and every time you do a new layer when you're doing this, add a bit more fertiliser and then compost and do that till you get to the top you'll then have enough fertiliser in here to last this potato plant for months. Then we'll just give it a quick water, just keep this compost slightly damp. Don't keep it completely soaked all the time, otherwise you'll rot that potato. So a bit of water and that's your 10 litre potato pot done. All you need to do now is wait until you see that green growing out the top. When you do see the green growing out the top of this plant, if there's going to be a frost, don't leave it outside. Even if you've got it inside in your greenhouse, put some fleece over the pot. If that gets hit by a frost, all the green will turn black. And then the potato will have to send up a new shoot right from the very bottom and start all over again. So just keep your eye on that weather. As I said, Thursday, tomorrow, minus one again. We'll get past it at some point and I'm sure that everybody is ripping their hair out and thinking when can I ever get anything outside in the beds. And to be honest, don't rush it. It's not worth your risk of losing your seedlings that you spent all this time growing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video about container potatoes. It can be done and it's just like a treasure on every potato reveal that you do because you never know how many potatoes you're going to actually get out of this little pot. And we're going to do a few of these pots through season with main crop potatoes in. And these are called Desiree. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the views, the subscribers, and all the feedback that I get as well. And if you want to see some more patio garden container vegetables, plus things that will be going outside in the garden eventually, then just hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell and I'll see you all on the next video. You all take care.